let us move into commentations. Summary of 2 Maccabees chapter 14. Alchemius and Demetrius plans verses 1 to 14. Change in leadership. After three years, Judas Maccabeus learned that Demetrius, the son of Seleucius, had arrived in Tripolis with a strong military force. Demetrius had overthrown Antiochus Eupater and killed both him and his protector, Lysias. Alchemius Desperation. Alchemius, who had previously defiled himself and lost his position as high priest, approached Demetrius with a crown of gold and other symbolic gifts. He sought favor with the new king. Alchemius Accusations. Alchemius informed Demetrius that Judas Maccabeus and his followers, whom Alchemius called Assidians, were causing unrest and preventing peace in the region. He presented himself as a loyal servant of the king who was concerned for the well-being of his nation. Nicanor's mission, verses 15 to 22. Nicanor's appointment. Demetrius, influenced by Alchemius and others, appointed Nicanor, the master of the elephants, as governor of Judea. Nicanor was instructed to defeat Judas, scatter his followers, and appoint Alchemius as high priest. Jews' reaction. Upon learning of Nicanor's approach, the Jews mourned and prayed for the divine intervention. They prepared for battle and made their way to uh, Dessau. Negotiations. Nicanor, impressed by the courage of Judas and his men, decided against a direct confrontation and sent emissaries, Basidius, uh, Theodotus, and Matthias, to negotiate peace. Peace agreement. After lengthy discussions, both parties agreed two terms and scheduled a meeting. Judas, anticipating possible treachery, stationed armed men discreetly during the negotiations. Betrayal and conflicts, verses 23 to 33. Nicanor's change of heart. Nicanor stayed in Jerusalem without causing harm and even urged Judas to marry and live peacefully. However, Alchemius, seeing the growing friendship and fearing of uh, loss of influence, accused Nicanor of disloyalty to Demetrius. Demetrius orders. Demetrius, enraged by Alchemius' accusations, ordered Nicanor to arrest Judas and send him to Antioch. Nicanor was distressed by this order, but had to comply. Temple threats. Nicanor, feeling the need to pressure the priests, threatened to destroy the temple and build one for Bacchus if they did not deliver Judas. Rhesus and his death, verses 34 to 43. Rhesus, stand. Rhesus, a, a respected elder and defender of the Jewish faith, was targeted by Nicanor. Nicanor sent over 500 soldiers to capture him. Rhesus end. As his attackers breach the outer door, Rhesus attempts suicide rather than fall into enemy hands. Failing to kill himself immediately, he threw himself off a wall and eventually disemboweled himself while still alive, calling on God in his final moments. Key themes. Political intrigue and betrayal. Alchemius, betrayal, and Nicanor shifting loyalties illustrate the complex and treacherous nature of the political maneuvering. Faith and resistance. The Jews' reliance on prayer and their readiness to defend their faith and homeland against overwhelming odds highlights their resilience and devotion. Heroism and sacrifice. Raises dramatic and underscore themes of martyrdom and the lengths to which individuals will go to uphold their beliefs and protect their community. Divine justice. The narrative reflects the belief in the divine justice and intervention in the affairs of the faithful, as seen as in the Jews, reliance on God and their eventual triumph over adversities. Let us move into prayer. Heavenly Father, in the midst of our struggles and conflicts, we con we. Find comfort in your sovereignty and unwavering love, Yeshua, as we reflect on the events of 2 Maccabees 14. We see your hand guiding and protecting your people through tumultuous times. Lord Jesus, we come before you with a gratitude for the example of courage and faith shown by Judas Maccabeus and his followers. We recognize their resilience on you, Yeshua, and their determination to uphold your righteousness amidst adversity. Grant us the same strength and resolve as we face our own challenges. We ask for your divine guidance in our lives, especially when we encounter opposition or deceit. Just as you gave Judas wisdom to navigate treachery and strive for peace, grant us discernment and courage to act righteously and to seek your will in every situation. 
Father, we lift up those who are oppressed and persecuted for their faith. We pray for their protection and deliverance, trusting in your provinces, promises to safeguard your people. May your peace and justice prevail in every situation. Help us to remain steadfast in our commitment to you, even when faced with hostility and false accusations. May our actions reflect your grace and truth, and may we always seek to honor you, Yeshua, in all we do. Lord, we also remember Razis, who chose to face death rather than to surrender to wickedness. May his example inspire us to live with integrity and courage, standing firm in our convictions, even in the face of great adversity. We thank you for being our refuge and strength, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yeshua, Yahweh, our ever-present help in times of trouble, Holy Spirit. As we face our own battles, may we always turn to you for guidance, protection, and peace. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. And we'll close today's reading um, with a song. And today's song is titled, O God, Our Fortress. In times of treachery, when foes surround us tight, we seek your might and hand to guide us through the night. When falsehoods are declared and hearts are filled with rage, we trust in your great power to turn the darkest page. O God, our fortress, our refuge, and our light, in battles and in trials, you turn the wrong to right. When enemies arise and, and our hope seems to fall, O God, our fortress, you are our all in all. The faithful stand their ground, though forces may collide. With courage and with honor, they face the rising tide. In secret plots and schemes where shadows seek to reign, we call upon your justice to break the tyrant's chains. When promises are broken and the wicked scheme, we hold to your salvation, Yeshua, your eternal dream. Though men may yield their power and make the righteous mourn, the truth, Yeshua, will shine forevermore. And from us, will we will not be torn. Though trials come to test and our spirits may be tried, we cling to your protection and your love as our guide. In every cruel injustice, your hand is always near. We place our trust in you, Yeshua, and in your voice we hear. O God, our fortress, our refuge, and our light, in battles and in trials, you turn the wrong to, night, to right. When enemies arise and our hope seems to fall, O God, our fortress, you are our all in all. And the closing prayer here for the song is, Heavenly Father, we lift our voices in praise and adoration in times of trial and adversity. Be our fortress and shield. Grant us the strength to stand firm and the wisdom to seek your justice. We trust in your unchanging love and protection. In the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and amen. Shalom and shalom until next time. May God keep you and bless you. Bye-bye for now.